The 2018 Department of Agriculture's Kids Fishing Derby drew out 23 kids ages 7 to 12 years old. The fishing derby was free of charge and featured three categories. Kids competed for the longest fish, longest trigger fish, and most fish caught. Trophies and prizes were given out to the top winners in each category. This was a catch and release derby hosted by the Division of Aquatics and Wildlife Resources, Sport Fish Restoration, with the assistance from the National Park Services. Fish caught were measured and documented under type of species. Kids were also taught about the catch and release program and how they were doing their part in making sure generations of fish were able to be bred and there will be fish to catch in the future. Drinks and snacks were provided along with some bait for those fishing. The event was a nice way for families to get out of the house and spend time together. All 23 kids went home with a prize. U16 boys basketball from the Youth Summer Showcase, powered by Docomo Pacific, Elite Gold, and the Rebels taken to the Guam Elite Court. Rebels player Carson Jackson with the ball dribbles towards the baseline and takes it up in between two defenders for the shot off glass. Caleb Menno sets up in the corner. Gets the pass and works his way towards the basket. Menno gets the floater to drop, showing some touch on the release for Elite Gold. Javier Camacho tries to attack the basket. The defense collapsing down. Shots short. Rebound by Evan Brown. Ball gets stolen. Noah Stanley at the right place at the right time. Picks up the easy basket down low. Elite Gold hold it down on their home court for the 45-30 win. Corner three all net off the kickout pass by Jeremiah David. Leo Palace was the spot for the fourth annual Conquer event. This year's course featured 17 obstacles both on and off road. Hundreds of participants took on the course in teams and competitive enduro solo divisions. There was a kayak challenge, Nissan Titan truck pool, and a huge man-made wall. Competitors had to scale over. Once up the wall, they finished down a cargo net or zip line. There were several fun activities for the entire family. Kids 14 and under got to try a short course for free. Businesses took advantage of the opportunity and registered their teams as a way to boost morale amongst employees. Start times were spread out based upon registration and division. Kids had fun on the 100-foot inflatable water slide and giant bike challenge. Food was provided by Leo Palace, and adults enjoyed the grown-up section beer garden where they rehydrated themselves. Congratulations to Christina Ingvarsson Guerrero on her first place finish at the Ironman 70.3 Centraire Cheetah Peninsula Japan event for females ages 40 to 44 years old. Christina crossed the line at 5 hours, 35 minutes, 16 seconds. Good enough for the top spot in her age group. She was 15th out of 116 females and 245th overall out of 1,492 competitors. The race consisted of a 1.9-mile swim, 56.1-mile bike ride, and 13.1-mile run, totaling 70.3 for the half Ironman competition.